Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I will be doing a full face of new products. Um, it's products that I haven't tried before. Um, so I bought it all from um, Look Fantastic, I believe, and it took a couple of days to come and it all arrived and all is good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get underway with the actual application and then at the end obviously I'm gonna do my hair and I will give you a full review of what I think of the product. First product, I mean I haven't even opened these yet. Um the first product is the Lottie London Illuminating Coconut Prime the shade golden as it says at the back. Um I have never used a Lottie London product yeah. so I'm going to apply this oh it's very liquidy but illuminating for sure okay don't know how this is gonna work it's gonna use my mac 130 brush like i said does it smell coconut it smells a little bit coconut it's not I'm not crazy on certain scents. Um, so this, I mean, it's got a nice glow. I don't know if you can see that. A little bit tacky. Um, but I like it. It's very light. It's not like heavy on the skin. Now the next product is the Sleek Life Proof Foundation in the shade okay look i have an issue with buying foundations online i can never ever get it right in the shade lp04 and it's a medium to full coverage sweat proof oil free life proof foundation got a little thing in my oh no first of all this is not my shade <laughs> this is absolutely by far not my shade um so that's good this is why i don't buy um foundations online because i'm never gonna get the right color am i way too orange um I can try, I don't, the thing is I've got lighter foundations but I don't want to mix them. I mean, okay, the colour's wrong but I'm not going anywhere. Um, and if I can test out the formula, um, then that that's what I'm here for. I'm just going to drag that down my neck because quite honestly, I think even when I'm tanned, I th actually, I think when I'm tanned, this would work. Concealer's in the right shade. Concealer's in the right shade. Concealer's in the right shade. I'll tell you what. The coverage is okay. Um, it's not a full coverage. I still, you can still see my blemishes there. And on my chin. A little bit on there see how it builds so if it builds well then all is okay so yeah it builds really nicely it's covered that up yeah this concealer is not going to be my shade either <laughs> the nyx studio photogenic hd concealer in the show i suck at picking shades out online i just don't you know some people have the knack correct the nick what's the word nick knack knack nick i am not one of those people maybe um next time i should actually like unpack all of this before i get on to the video i just think it's way too pink for me i don't know if you're gonna be able to see that cameras lie because that is an orange color i don't know how i picked this up i don't know what's happened here blend I will blend away and hope for the best um don't tell me this is full coverage yeah 
I mean, the fact that it was so pink and it hasn't actually come out pink on my face, there's some kind of magic happening. That's <laughs> what I think. Um, that was awfully close and you did not need to see that. Do you know what? It doesn't look too bad. I'd prefer if it was a bit lighter and the actual correct undertone for my skin because that was not it. Um, formula, nice, very... I have, so now I have primer, foundation, and concealer, albeit the concealer's not all over my face, but my face doesn't feel cakey. Um, I feel like my skin can still breathe, which is, I need that in the summer. Um, it's, mu it's very much like my skin, but better. So the next product is going to be a setting powder. Now, all of you guys should know that my go-to is my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Now, I will always spend my coin in that because that deserves to have my money. I thought I'd try something new given that I'm trying new products. So I've gone for the Lottie London Ready Set Go Setting Powder in Warm Translucent. I'm gonna kick some out onto, onto the uh, lid. I'm gonna pick some up on my beauty blender it's much warmer i'm gonna show you my laura mercier one um it is much much warmer than my laura mercier powder um they've got different shades okay nice that's definitely done the the old blurring effect so just to compare the difference with my see i'm running out i need to give you one the difference between my so this one is just the translucent um loose setting powder this one obviously has the color to it so this is the one that's more warm um and then obviously this one's just more I genuinely think that there's something for everyone um but i thought you know if i'm gonna try something out um what you know money wise would work out the best guys i'm just <laughs> they just take these things up like, I have foundation in my hair, but it's okay. We move um, because I haven't gone to the hair salon, so it just looks like highlights. Anyway, um, you get the transition shade, the brow bone shade, the crease shade, and the eyelid. For those that aren't comfortable with like experimenting with crazy colors or don't know where certain colors can or can't go, basically labels it out for you. Um, I've never ever used one of these. I normally tend to just wing it. Um, but I thought I'd try it out for the purpose of the video. They've got loads of different um, quads, like different shades. Um, but I just thought this green is what really got me. I've got green eyes and I don't tend to wear green eyeshadow because I just don't know how it's going to look. The first shade that is going to go on is the transition shade. And what transition shades are meant... That's a word, isn't it? Transition shades is meant to do it's just supposed to be a good base it's just supposed to be a good base um before any other color goes on maybe i need to be a bit like this so you guys can see oh the pigments there um i haven't put any primer other than what was left over from my um that under eye concealer i just went over it with my um beauty bender nice. you can see it it's there um smaller brush like this one i'm gonna take a smaller brush and i'm gonna dip into this green color i'm gonna start off see this is either gonna be crazy pigmented or not at all and i don't know which one it's gonna be Lord have mercy, the patchiness is serious. Try and make this work. That's going to need a lot of blending. So I'm just going to take a fluffier brush and make sure I diffuse everything in before I even think about adding another layer of that green. So bring it out a little teeny tiny but again with bold colors you need to trust the process 
is I'm gonna go onto the shiny color that goes onto the entire lid. And for that, I'm gonna take a packed brush. I mean, normally I take my finger, but we'll see how this goes first. Yeah, there's a lot of, um, I don't know if you can see that. There's a lot of kickback um, in the transition shade. And what I'm gonna do is I've just taken it on a normal flat brush and i'm gonna try it all over the lid now that's hardly coming up so we need to let me try my finger honestly sometimes these these um yeah so that that's automatically a whole lot better i don't know about this green the green is really just um, it just looks like it's a mistake, but yeah, um, I'm going to go in with the brow bone colour. Oh god, I was never keen on these eyeshadow palettes for the simple fact that it is so powdery. I like the gold foil shadow, um, but that's about it, like, there's nothing else but... Like the green just doesn't look, so I've wiped this bit off, but the green just, it's not doing it for me. But I'm going to do the other eye off camera and then I will be back and we can move on to the other parts. Hi guys, so I am back. Um, I've done the other eye off camera. I will save my review to the end about this quad shadow palette. Now, moving on to mascara, I've got two new mascaras. Well, this one I've had for a while, I haven't really used it, but I thought I'd include it in this video. Um, it's from Ico, it's the Black Magic Mascara Drama and Curl. And I've got the Maybelline New York Falsies Push Up Angel Mascara. I think I might have used this one years ago, but I just can't remember. I don't know if it was this purple one or another purple one. Um, I mean, the mascaras don't stink. I have a thing about mascaras that just smell like too chemically. This one, this one probably smells a bit nicer. Um, so yeah, let's see how this is gonna work. The reason I got two mascaras is I'm weird and I have this thing about I can't um, just, I don't know how people just use one mascara on their eyelashes. It, it is crazy to me. Well, I'm like two strokes in and this is already doing something. So, it's thick. Um, but I like what it's doing. The brush is completely different. So I hope this is not gonna mess up. Ooh. Do you know what, be it mascara, be it falsies, eyelashes just make a look. Like, honestly, that is mental. And now I'm not even hating my eye look as much. Probably because my lashes are hiding whatever's going on behind them. What is going on behind them? Honest, I can honestly, hand on heart, say maybelline come out with the best best mascaras there's just something about any brush that they put in there any formula they put in there it just works like i don't think i've had a bad mascara from this the next thing that i'm gonna be putting on is some blusher i didn't get bronzer because I seem to think that I don't bronze lately. Um, so this is the Sleek Makeup Blush in the shade Life's a Peach. Very nice and peachy. I don't even know if you can quite... I don't actually have a peach blush at the moment. Um, so this will be interesting to see how this goes on. Bit of a... Uh, I don't know if you can see that bit of kickback but dab some on the back of my hand so that it's not, Oh, Ooh, 
Yeah, like I said, I haven't really been bronzing like crazy lately. I like this blur. I mean, the look looks a bit crazy with the peach blur. <laughs> the green eyeshadow. But we move, okay. I mean, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to take a clean brush and just diffuse that a little bit. I do think it's a little bit too strong. Final, well, second to last step. I'm going to be putting on some lip gloss. Um, this is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. 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 I mean, these smell like heaven. I had one years ago. Um, and then lost it. And never got on again. But these are the creamiest lip glosses you will ever um have in your collection final step is the dream satin mist from maybelline um i've never used this before it doesn't smell of anything other than clay um hmm not really done much to my face. Um, I'm drenched in it, and it's not. I mean, my chest looks shiny. Jeez. So I'm back, and all I've done is straighten my hair and just slicked it back because I can't bother to style it. Um, quick review, guys. There are some products that I loved, some products that I don't know what I'm going to do with them because I'm not going to use them again. Um, so my favourite, favourite, favourite are the mascaras. So amazing. They've just, I don't need to put falsies on at all. Very quick, didn't take me for, age, for ages. Didn't take me ages. Um, nice consistency, no nasty smells. Very affordable, obviously, as per the title of the video. Um, and they work well together. Now, some mascaras don't work well together, be that formula, brushes, if you go through with one brush style and then through with another one, they're just gonna contradict and they're not gonna work. These two work very well together, so I would definitely, definitely recommend them to you. Concealer and foundation. Um, maybe get the right shade, unlike me, who obviously i don't know what my shade is and um, but to be fair i've not bought sleek foundation before or any nyx concealers or foundation colors so i don't know what to go by um consistency on the foundation very nice coverage very light on the skin um very dewy it builds really nicely hopefully it wears well um and is in fact oil free but um, I will get back to you guys on that. Um, the concealer, very light. It's not full coverage, but I'm going to take a few photos after this as well. So hopefully it does what it sells. It does what it says and photographs well. Um, but I would recommend them. Just get them in the right shade. Don't not get the right shade. Um, the blusher I liked a lot, very pigmented, so go with an easy hand. Don't at some blushes just like sitting there and digging, digging, digging. But this one, I would say tap up, tap up, tap. I can't talk today. Is what's happening. I can't talk. Tap off any excess on the back of your hand. You can see I've still got some there, um, and it just means that you don't apply the product straight to your face. That's all it is. You're not wasting a whole ton of product. It just means it's easier for you to blend out on your face it's tiny it's good for traveling it's compact i don't know where we're all traveling to but if you are traveling um it's got a mirror inside again good for traveling um and you get quite a good amount you've got six grams or 0 0.21 ounces inside the actual product this could um last you a while i mean i don't know how excessively you guys use blusher but i think that's gonna last me a while um the illuminating coconut primer love absolutely love um consider i've never tried a lottie london product um this is cruelty free and vegan it lasts for 12 months you get 30 milliliters of product inside um it's, the smell's not too overpowering for those that don't like scented stuff 
um, it does do its job. I haven't put any highlighter anywhere and my skin looks very dewy. Um, it works well with the sleek foundation. Just remember whenever you put a primer on, certain foundations aren't going to sit well on them. So it's a matter of trying to sit out as much as you can or looking at reviews on YouTube. The next two is going to be the Lottie London powder and the NYX butter gloss. There's no particular reason why I picked these um, companies. I just sort of was browsing online, saw them and I was like, oh, I've never tried them before. Let's give it a go. Um, the butter gloss, um, it's shiny. It's just a lip gloss. I don't know what else I can say. It doesn't have that sticky thing. So that's very good. Um, nice, cute little size. Nice colors. They've got loads of colors online is a good thing i went for this one because i love a good mood um but yeah and the powder i would definitely recommend i'd probably not get it in the warm translucent next time but as you can see it's not too bad maybe if my concealer actually sort of was the right shade it would look even better but it wasn't and here we are so for the price it's very good does it compare to my laura mercier no but then again i am loyal to my laura mercier powder so it's going to take a lot for me to move from that to this but as an affordable alternative i'd recommend it i think you guys know where this is going um good ish so this one's like neither here nor there i'll use it up but am i gonna be like rush it out to buy another one so that i don't run out probably not um it does stiffen my face a little bit now that i've put it on um, I feel like maybe I've sprayed a little bit of hairspray on my face, which obviously I haven't, if anyone thinks I have. Um, I don't feel like it does much. Like, my Revolution Cherry Setting Spray is my absolute favourite. Like, affordability-wise. You've got the higher-end ones, like the Fasali one and the Huda Beauty. They're wow. Um, but, obviously, you can't spend all your money on those all the time. I'm not crazy about this. The packaging's cute, but really it's just a plastic bottle with a label over the top. It doesn't smell too great. Um, I wouldn't know it from water to anything other than the stickiness, and I don't like my face being sticky. But if that's what you like, and you like having that feeling that your face is set, by all means, go for it. I don't know what to say. Um, first of all, can we see the kickback? No bueno. Um, on the back, you have like a step-by-step -step of how to do it. However, that step-by-step -step would work if the green didn't look like a gray. Like I've packed the green on like even when i went off camera i tried to i tried to pack it on and this is what we have we have a gray now i'm gonna show you the green in the pan that's the green beautiful does that that's that doesn't even look like the same thing um the transition shade, beautiful. The eyelid shade, it's all right. There's better bronzy shades. The brow bone color, very dusty and chalky. Probably can't even see it on my brow bone. Um, I wouldn't spend my money on this. I'd honestly much rather you guys go out, you get a Revolution palette or even a Primark palette. Even for the price that it's at, I just don't think that this like i would not wear this to go anywhere i am not going anywhere and definitely wouldn't go oh i know i want to have a gray look today so i'm gonna use my green eyeshadow that looks gray that's not gonna happen so the only thing that is saving it is the bronze and my eyelashes that's it that sorry again see is in gamer land so if you can hear him ignore him okay don't buy it like i'm not wet or mad i mean if they ever watch a video they're gonna hate me for this i just don't think it's their best product simple like i'm not gonna love everything from every company so 
but yeah thank you guys for watching um i hope you enjoyed that i know finally another tutorial i say that two videos ago was another tutorial anyway um make sure you guys like the video it's caught my three chins there make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel um share the video thank you guys for all your support my views are growing slowly but surely um thank you guys for watching the video and supporting me on my new little journey um let me know what other videos you guys would like to see and yeah i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching bye